Kilauea's Lower East River Zone eruption destroyed over 700 homes and caused millions of dollars in damage. Most Lower East River Zone eruptions last only a few months. This eruption lasted for four months. Middle East Rift Zone eruptions tend to last for many years, like Mauna Ulu and Pu'u'o'o. Here is a view of the lava channel from a USGS drone. Note the road. Toward the end of August 2018, the eruption winded down and only a small pad of lava remained inside the Fisher 8 vent. These videos are courtesy of the U.S. Geological Survey. Small lava pad remains for a week. Eruption terminated on 4 September 2018. There is a lesser known event that happened in late 2014 and Pahoa was threatened with destruction by lava from Pu'o. Pu'o is 20 miles away from Pahoa. Some property damage did occur from this long lava flow. So, where is Pahoa? Pahoa is located on the southeast part of the Big Island of Hawaii. In this lava zone map, Pahoa is located in lava zone 2, up to 75% covered by lava within the last 750 years. Pahoa facts, population 945 people and settled in the early 1900s. Pahoa means dagger in Hawaiian. Archaeological sites indicate long habitation by Native Hawaiians. It is not known when Native Hawaiians settled the area before the 1800s. Pahoa is about two miles away from the Leilani Estates eruption site. The legends about Pahoa have been referenced in oral traditions regarding Pele, the goddess of the volcano. Note the smoke from the lava that threatened the Pahoa marketplace. This photo shows the lava is just a couple hundred meters away from the Pahoa marketplace. You can see the reflection off of the smoke in the background. Pahoa dodged the bullet on this one. The lava flow was stopped within 100 meters of the Pahoa marketplace. But will Pahoa be threatened again by an eruption? Let's take a look. The blue lines indicate the steepest descent that the lava will flow. The area between the red lines is Kilauea's East Rift Zone. This is where the eruptions happen away from the summit. This recent USGS update indicates that magma is filling up in between Highway 130 and Pu'u'u'u. Pause to read. This red area is what the USGS is referring to about the broad region between Highway 130 and Pu'u'u'u. If there is an eruption that occurs on the north part of the rift zone in this area in red, the lava will travel to Pahoa circled in yellow. Here's the USGS site showing the, uh, the deflation and inflation graphs. As you can see here, okay, on the, the east rift zone, you can see it's slowly inflating because when this goes up, it means it's inflating. If it goes down, it's deflating. Deflation means magma drains. Inflation means magma comes up in layman's terms. The green line is the East Rift Zone, and you can see it slowly inflating. Again, more slow inflation. This is a view of the East Rift Zone looking uprift from Pu'u Honua'ula. Those yellow lines are on the north side of the East Rift Zone. Any sustained eruption originating from this area will certainly destroy Pahoa. Lava flows from this future eruption will follow the routes of steepest descent with Pahoa in its path. 
This video was not designed to scare anyone, but to warn. The USGS is clear that magma is filling up the region between Pu'o'o and Highway 130, which should be a concern to Pahoa residents.